So welcome back to part two of the Hailstorm refit. As you can see, uh, this is my Migraine Trigger D1000 array. Um, it's pretty big, but um, it doesn't work because the game can't shoot that many rockets at once, apparently. So I'll save the blueprint and mothball it. And now we're going to be working on a derivative build. So this one will be the drain storm. First thing I'm going to have to do is erase all of my D1000s because I can't have any groups that I don't know about. So put the symmetry on and get removing. Now I'm not going to lie, when I was doing this I felt a little bit, you know, ah, oh, because look at all that work you got to remove. But, you know, the whole point of the game is building, so it's part and parcel. So yeah, as I stripped the insides of this one out, um, I all I was focused on really was getting rid of every single D1000 group, so that by the time I um, got to the point where I had a clean interior again, I could then put in the uh, power drain beams. And I pretty much used the same configuration, but just with a larger array, so that... Um, still had the same sort of feel to it but not quite as big inside you know there's more more groups i made 10 by 10 with a 9 by 9 in front and then a single column coming out the central block of the uh 9 by 9 part of it but you'll see when i get there it won't take me very long now the only thing that annoyed me i think actually when i was doing this was um i had to be stood in front of the block I was clicking on to do the advanced build remove you couldn't do it but th th I expect there is a reason for that it's probably just to stop people from remote removing ships on mass gotta have some limits and so I go around just getting rid of any more that I can find and I think I pretty much got rid of them all just go around getting the random ones that were left on the canopy and and then fix the reactors that I broke. Um, fix the hull that I broke. <laughs> and um, I think now I'm back to a position where I can start working again. So I build my shield backplate like usual. Um, and then move that up. And this time I thought to myself, I'll try and mitigate the lighting load on the engine. So I'll put a bit of glass in front, and that should give me a bit of a soft reflection. And then I thought, oh wow, look at the sun. And then I kept it, because I thought, hey, you'll be able to see the sun in there. Which is pretty cool. Um, I wanted this to be an inspection area though, so... <coughs> Eventually there'll be corridors leading around the uh, inside. So we whack on our power drain computer and off we go with 10 by 10 by 10 with a three gap. And uh, obviously using symmetry, so you have to do a quarter of the work. And now we've got a fairly large array of power drain beams, but with 10 by 10 by 10, you can't actually put anything in the middle. So. I settled on a pattern, and put the 9x9s in the top corner, and then of course that's mirrored on the each of the four, you know, the other three that's being built by the symmetry mode. Um, so it, it looks okay. And then I went around just extending them because these are a bit like salvages, they extend from the forwardmost block on a fixed distance so this thing literally has to touch <laughs> it has to go right up and touch its target which is uh, you know, a bit of a design flaw but it was fun to do and it does seem to work I need to do more testing with uh, with players see my server's not currently running <coughs> or it's not running very well I think I decided to go for a sort of faux torpedo head style <coughs> 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 oh, 
earlier and I decided that the uh, missiles weren't powerful enough so I went ahead and extended them back and then filled the whole back canopy which should have worked but what happened was I ended up creating a bunch of random D1000 arrays that was somehow disconnected from the rest through the fact that it's filling when I'm doing it like this so it was filling around things and I got a few sections that weren't attached in the end so that took me a while to fix I did go around it for ages going why is it firing well you'll see in a minute we're coming up on my first little pop test and like I say started making the beginnings of a doorway to go through into the front section which is something that Hailstorm never had Hailstorm only had a very small bridge didn't have an interior which is something that I always wished I had put in a better interior on the hailstorm and here's here I go trying to figure out how I'm going to connect the reactors through power tanks the missiles uh, and there's a power reactor in the way and it's <laughs> you know you end up having to jiggle everything around a bit but I ended up with design I wanted to have the same corridor design as the bridge on the old hailstorm because I kind of like that shape stretched opal on a yeah so here I am just messing around with these you can see I'm getting good FPS but when I was doing this on my uh, laptop it was not as good <laughs> so there we go and now I'm putting in another walkway where we put in some holes so that you've got an inspection area a little staircase which of course also forms the roof right a few mess ups here and there but that's pretty much completed all I have to do I'm just going around making sure I haven't missed anything and I think it was all checking out fine so now it's time to try out the D1000. Oh yeah, that was it. This is where I find out all my groups have messed up. See, where'd they come from? <laughs> so we'll try out the uh, the main torpedo. Decided to sacrifice reload speed for um, power. But I've only got about 600 and something. To be honest, this little missile is an annoyance, anti-annoyance for when the pirates are somehow not getting killed by the turret. And I want a more instant sort of, you know. <laughs> and so yeah, there you have it. So now I'm messing around trying to figure out <laughs> trying to figure out where those extra missiles came from. And I don't know where they came from now. They were in the canopy at the back and they had become disconnected. Um, and all I had to do was reconnect them. So I just made like a little D1000 block bridge between each group and that connected them up fine. Also I did a bit of experimentation when I was talking with the uh, Fleet Bros on TeamSpeak about modifying my um, computer or my settings on my weapons and what I found was obviously it's auto balancing so it was possible to fire a missile with a speed of 0.1 and of course it was the slowest slowest missile but yeah the power drain beams seem to work on this pirate I mean I didn't hit him I don't know if he just crashed but I hit him with the power drain beams and he just sort of stopped flying and he was up until that point continuously flying around and ramming me so don't know is the answer boom you never notice how, how good those planets look until you see it sped up right so I mess around, I bridge a few reactors, here we go, look, not reactors, I bridge a few of the can uh, the groups, see, I located where the group was, and I was like, ah, there it is, and then just 
make a connecting bridge using the G1000 block. It's pretty easy actually when I think about it. It was just finding the things. I think I took a wall out at some point and found a bunch of rockets behind it and went, ah, it must have filled through a wall. And obviously everything on the other side of the wall was disconnected from the main group. But after I figured that out, that was pretty simple. I did think about putting um, an AMC on here because with the changes, you wouldn't have a really big one anymore. You'd just have a little one. But um, we'll see because I'm trying to do ships on each of the each of the weapon types because there's a bunch of them that n rarely get used. So the power drain is was the one, the first one. The second one is the power supply. Those two are very underused. I never, very rarely see anybody using them. So I want to have a play with them, see if I can figure anything out that might be useful. Uh, see if I can find anyone who's already doing things that are useful and then show them to everyone. So anyway, as you can see now, my group's all, s all clean. Um, and as you can see, you've got a... <laughs> got a damage at 1% 465 I should really slow that bit down but I'll do a video on that later boom and the rats are gone see this little one shot missile is actually pretty pretty effective against the standard pirates but of course a ship like this wouldn't be used on its own it's an electronic warfare support ship. Granted, it's pretty big. But um, the theory goes I could go up to a fleet and potentially, if they were close enough together, drain them both at once because the array's so wide. But we don't even know how effective this is. I might need to completely redesign the array to take... Uh, better advantage of how it really works oh that awkward moment when you do advanced build mode on with the wrong block type right fixed that's not fixed uh, you've missed a reactor there <laughs> I never reconnected it look oh, oh well Yeah, I've still got, I've got 1.1 million now. Recharge. Oh, well, never mind. This thing's a bit of a um, power storage uh, specialist. I think I managed to get it. In, so I was aiming for a billion energy storage. And I think I did it in the end. <laughs> but this thing is mostly power tanks. This whole The whole tail section is power tanks. The top and the bottom of the canopy are filled with tap power tanks. Um, everything's bridged, so all the power tank groups are connected together. <laughs> so you get a mad bonus. Um, and the idea was that usually a ship, when it's full, I look at power as fuel, and you know it, it, you recharge. You know, you can recharge your uh, power levels, but at such a small amount that when you're using the biggest ships, the chances are it's about how much energy you have. And a battle shouldn't really last that long. So really, you just need to have more power than he does. And if he's using a buffer tank, he can only get 1.2. And if he brute forces it, maybe more than that. It's just a different strategy. I like to think that it works because if you're sparing with maneuvers um, you don't need that much power if you've got a large storage area then you can have that just slowly topping up when you're not doing anything which is most of the time when you're in a big ship to be honest but we'll see how it how, how that works out once we've actually got some uh, turrets on there <coughs> there's still plenty of room for brute forcing as you can see the entire canopy is full of air so if somebody really wanted, you know, if you wanted to get technical and make this 100% combat efficient or whatever, you'd definitely be putting more stuff in there 
it was solid on Hailstorm, so at the moment this thing's more agile than ha Hailstorm was. So there's that too. But yeah, um, the drain storm's pretty much done. Um, I will be loading it in and doing some testing with it uh, in the next video, I expect. I think that while I was recording this video, I was having a little chat with Havoc and so that's why the screen has stopped a few times. I did think about editing it out, but then I never have enough time to squeeze everything into these commentaries. And there you go. So I'm starting to put in the beginnings of the corridors. The corridors will go through the entire canopy section, allowing inspection of the power drain, ar power drain array. Uh, this will be done by way of jumping up and down in gravity, so um, opportunity for parkour races again. And with such a tall canopy, there will definitely be several drops. <laughs> um, so that'll be good. And um, yeah, it's actually come out pretty nicely. Um, I think I'll probably use a bunch of those hanging lights to indicate railings um, just around the corners of these platforms um, I didn't really want you to be able to walk everywhere I just wanted there to be quite an you know some kind of staircasing or system by which you can get from the top to the bottom without needing to fly and I think that these you know hull four blocks of air hull I think that works quite well for the really tall ships uh, I'm experimenting now with putting in pillars but it didn't really look right so floating platforms it is I expect I'll, I expect I'll figure out a way to make it blend in but to be honest I like it being slightly more open in there and as you can see down the bottom that's the main power tank slash power reactor you know I wanted there to be an exposed power generation area and it kind of looks like a little village or a little city or something just made out of tanks or if you would the sort of circuit board under the microscope loads of transistors sticking out all connected very nice um, but yeah it's my son's birthday this weekend so um, there won't be as many videos up this weekend as usual because I've got stuff to do with him uh, but I do have a couple of things which are coming out so you shouldn't get bored I hope um, and then I'll be back to you back to business as usual soon I hope with the new build that's coming soon but I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff in single player to keep the videos coming also going to be doing a uh, video on the community spotlight at Mushroom Fleet because there are so many people who've started their own channels and are recording on the server um, which is awesome, that's what I wanted um, I'm so impressed with those guys and yeah this is the drain storm it gets in, it drains the enemy and then your fleet finish them off because they can't recharge their shields they can't fire their guns and they can't move unless they've got BB la launchers but this thing's so big it's going to take a lot of BB launchers see because the biggest problem with a energy draining frigate like a small thing is it gets taken out and no one's draining him anymore whereas I thought hey if I use a super cap <laughs> they're going to need a fleet to take out the guy that's draining the guy they're trying to save so it's uh, an interesting one probably doesn't work but uh, we'll wait we'll have to wait and see won't we yeah <laughs> so that's just about it for this one thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with more star made see you next time That view. I'd play with that view. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone, finally.
the first thing I tried to build was my surfboard <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work, you have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking clamps. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the MP. P3, 12 o'clock. Oh, he's ran. That's unfortunate. Got free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin. So as you can see, I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So uh, guns don't actually fire yet. So and also large ships can only have the. Um... Oh no! Right, press X zoom, zoom. Right, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. 2019, 1650. that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss, but Camino anyway. Summer, right Pure Amazing, Fantas Longhorn, and Seron 16 play. <laughs> Bot Survival.